Hey, hey there. Welcome to this good old Thursday as we get into more quality roles today. I am bringing you some opportunities from Blue Cross and Blue Shield themselves. As always, I have some really great opportunities that are going to be bonus roles. And I definitely have some entry level opportunities for you guys as well. As for my season folks, we do and will be going through more high level seasoned roles. Now, let's get right into the very first role. Today, the first role we're going to go over is through a company called DataVant. They are a healthcare information technology company that allows healthcare systems to exchange different kinds of healthcare data. The first role that I'm bringing to you today through them is their health information specialist role. It is a remote customer service opportunity, completely remote, no matter where you are. It's full time. It's within their medical records department and the pay is $15 and 18 cent per hour. Now, I do want to point this out. When you get on their website, they have multiple opportunities available. So definitely make sure you're also going in and checking on different opportunities to see which one would be a better fit for you and applying for those specific roles. So when you get into the actual job portal, if you're looking for this specific one, feel free to look with this job ID here. But getting more into the job description and what you'll do on your day to day, this is an entry level position and you will be responsible for processing all release of information requests okay you'll ensure the efficiency and accuracy of the request and ensure that all of the information is there things like they've signed a health release form the patients themselves and make sure that you're abiding by the HIPAA law and regulation now some of the really highlights of this position is it is a full-time position answering incoming calls related to medical records it is a Monday through Friday position from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You'll have full benefits, which does include personal time off, health insurance, vision, dental, a 401k savings plan, and tuition assistance. They're also going to provide you company equipment, such as a computer monitor and virtual phone. And then they do offer tremendous growth opportunities within the company, both locally and nationally. Now, what they're looking for from you is having strong customer service and clerical skills, being proficient in Microsoft Office, Word, Excel, being comfortable with a high volume of production, being okay with being in a medical office environment is a plus, and then willing to learn and grow within the company. Now, more of the specifics of what you'll do on a day-to-day, -day, you'll receive and process for patient healthcare information in accordance with the company and facility policies and procedures. You'll maintain confidentiality and security with all privileged information. You'll also maintain a working knowledge of the software. You'll adhere to the company's and facility code of conduct policies. You'll inform managers of work site difficulties or fluctuating volumes. You'll also re be responsible for maintaining and managing patient health records safeguarding patient records, preparing new patient charts, and responding to requests for patient records. You'll answer inbound and outbound calls. You may assist with patient walk-ins and assist with administrative duties as needed, such as handling facts, opening mail, and data entry. And you may have opportunities to pick up additional hours and schedules. Now, the qualifications that they're looking for is having a high school diploma or GED, being able to work overtime during peak seasons, having basic computer proficiencies, being able to utilize a phone, fax machine, printers, and other general office equipment, having really great written and verbal communication skills, being detail oriented, being able to work independently with minimum supervision, being organized, being able to manage multiple tasks at once, and being able to respond to requests in a fast paced environment. Some of the preferred skill sets is going to be having experience in a healthcare environment, having previous production metrics based work experience, having in person customer service experience, being able to build relationships with on-site clients and customers, being comfortable, bringing new ideas, process environment suggestions, and feedback to internal stakeholders. Now, the pay for this specific role is $15 to $18 per hour because it is more so entry level. So if you are interested in this health information specialist role that is remote, then get on over to DataVent and start the application process. Getting into the very next role that I have with DataVent, 
Medivant, this is going to be their customer experience representative role. This is their retrieval role. It is also remote no matter where you are. This is a full-time position paying $18.21 per hour. Now, what you're going to do within this role is maintain a positive, empathetic, and professional attitude towards customers at all times. You'll respond promptly to customer inquiries in a high call volume, fast paced environment. You'll investigate and solve product and service complaints while maintaining customer accounts and records of customer interactions with great detail. You'll communicate and coordinate with colleagues as necessary and provide feedback on the efficiency of the customer service process. Now, what makes you stand out is having really great communication skills and being an active listener, having those critical thinking and problem solving skills, having a service oriented way about you to resolve customer complaints while also maintaining a professional and calm demeanor. Having critical thinking and strong problem solving skills, being proficient with computers, and being proficient in working with ticketing systems. Now, educational and experience requirements is having a high school diploma, a GED, or equivalent. Having three or more years of customer service experience, if you do have experience using a call center phone system like Ring Central, that's going to work in your favor. Having one or more years of experience in a call center environment and having data entry skills, being able to type at least 30 words per minute. Now, this role does also require you to have high speed internet connection to be able to get the job done. So if you are interested in this customer experience rep role with that event, get on over quickly. Now, getting into our very next opportunity Opportunity. This is what the company called Perfect Serve. Now, Perfect Serve is a healthcare product service that allows healthcare providers to connect all of their systems together and kind of make workflows for different tasks like appointment reminders, prescription referrals those kinds of things. The role that I'm bringing to you today through Perfect Serve is their tier one support specialist role. It is completely remote in their call center. And getting more into the overview of this specific position. Now this position is targeted to people who are willing to work nights and weekends. If that is you, definitely stay tuned so you can hear the rest of this good old job description. If that's not you, it's completely fine. Just check out the previous roles we went through on this video. I do have other roles we are going to go over and I always want to encourage you guys to check out any previous videos they have posted this week to check out those specific job opportunities as well. Now your regular onboarding and training is going to be a day shift Monday through Friday and then you will be going to your permanent shift which will be more on the evening and weekends. They are currently hiring now for a start date of July the 8th. So if you are interested in this role, after we do finish going through the job description, you have to hop on this quickly so you can get in for your interviews and you can start on that July 8th date. Now within this role, you'll be responsible for supporting and delighting perfect serves end users, which are gonna be physicians, nurses, and system administrators. We'll get more into the details overview of what you'll do but getting more into some specific things that they're looking for from you and that you're going to need for the job they are letting you guys know that it is going to be required for you as a support professional to work one weekend day and be able to work some holidays also as required you're going to need willingness and excitement to work nights and weekends, strong technical aptitude, have really great written and verbal communication skills, analytical skills, and troubleshooting, being able to work in a fast-paced environment, and having high customer empathy. You'll also need that hardwire high speed internet as well to get the job done. Now, some of the things you're going to do within this job is you are going to respond and be the voice of the company for client communications via phone chat and online customer portals. You'll help end user administrators with their perfect serve applications. You'll also train end users on how to use the software, the phone system, and mobile web applications for perfect serve. You'll assist with basic to advanced troubleshooting efforts 
and your consult design configure and deploy custom applications as well. You'll build and revise new user accounts based on established standards and best practices. And you'll work with end users and hospital IT professionals to troubleshoot mobile and web connectivity issues. You'll collaborate with other perfect serve teams, including customer success, integration, and technical teams on escalated technical issues. So this is definitely more so of a entry level role with them just requiring these things for you to be able to get this tier one level job. They're going to train you on everything else. They're not even requiring you to have any specific type of education or experience. It is completely a no experience role. So definitely if you have no experience and you're looking for something Make sure you get your application in so you can definitely get in for interviews and start on that July 8th start date. Now, I was able to locate the salary for this role. You are going to be looking at a salary or a dollar amount per hour of anywhere between $19 to $26 per hour with a mid-range of $23 per hour. And that is really good starting with no experience at all whatsoever. It being a remote position and really being in a support role because you can take those skills and go anywhere in the support or IT world once you've had some type of foundation and that good training that they're going to train you with. So definitely do not sleep on this role. If you are entry level or you don't have those experience skills, this would be a great opportunity to start with. So definitely check this out. Now, if you are curious about what kind of keywords you should be utilizing for a job like this one for the tech support role, some of those things you're going to use straight from the description is going to be advanced troubleshooting, solutioning client requests via phone, chat, online portals, web applications, email, whatever that looks like, phone, working cross-functionally with customer success teams, integration, sales, those kinds of things assisting end users with troubleshooting on web connectivity issues, mobile devices. You want to show that you are an expert and you were assisting the end users with being able to solution their issues. Now, if you are still guessing and you're not really sure what you should be putting on your resume, I do have a resume keyword guide. You can find a link to the resume keyword guide down in the description as well as the pinned comments. The resume keyword guide is gonna give you over 300 different resume keywords and over 11 different industries to help you up-level your resume very, very quickly. It literally hands you over multiple keywords on a silver platter. You'll also get some additional bonuses and resources with the resume keyword guide. So definitely if you're interested in taking out all of the guesswork of what you should be utilizing and putting on your resume or even feeling stuck in updating your resume, definitely make sure you get your hands on the resume keyword guide. Once again, you can find that down in the description as well as the pinned comments. Now getting into our very next role, this role is going to be with a company called Construct Connect. Construct Connect is a very unique company in that they are a trusted provider of providing contract project leads, okay? So think of all the maintenance people and contract folks out there who have businesses. This is one of the businesses that they would utilize to get contracts, to get leads, to get new people who are looking for different kind of contract projects, right? This is a platform that they would use to get those leads and get those people in the door. So the role that I'm bringing to you today through them is their customer service representative role. This one is completely remote no matter where you are. It is a full-time position. And within this customer service role, the main things you'll do is accept inbound calls and assess customer needs. You'll address customer billing inquiries, provide project knowledge, provide product support. You'll route calls correctly to the proper departments. You also may be asked to make outbound calls as well for this role. Now the qualifications they're looking for is a high school diploma. If you do have a bachelor's degree, that's going to be a plus, but it's not needed to get the role. And then a minimum of one year experience in a call center customer service environment is preferred. So it's a plus, but you don't need it. This is definitely more of an entry level, no experience role as well. It's pluses. It'll work in your favor. If you do have a little more experience, if you do have some type of experience, but you don't need it to get the job. Some of the other physical demands of the role is just, you'll be sitting a long time, really having telephone communications 
uh, for a while throughout your day. It is a fully work from home remote position with only occasional travel to the office for team meetings if needed. But other than that, you can completely be able to work remotely anywhere in the US or Canada itself. Now, I was able to locate the salary for this role and because it is more of a no experience type of role, it is paying $34,000 to $47,000 per year annually with a mid-range being $40,000 just to get you in the door so you can get some experience. So if you are interested in that, if you have absolutely no experience and you are looking for something that can get you in the door, this would be a really great role. Heading into our very next opportunity with Blue Cross and Blue Shield. This is Highmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. And the first role that I'm bringing to you today through them is their Conditioning Category Coding Specialist. This is a full-time position recently posted. It is remote no matter where you are. And getting more into this role, the main essential responsibilities is to perform coding projects related to different kind of diseases. You'll also be flexing between different coding projects. You'll be working within various coding applications, electronic medical record systems. You'll assist with regulatory audits by performing first code reviews and ranking of charts. You'll participate in an ad hoc project per the direction of leadership to address any needs of the department. And you'll engage in coding educational meetings and annual coding summits as well. Now, educationally, they don't have anything listed. Preferred, if you do have an associate's degree in medical billing, coding, health insurance, healthcare, or related is going to be a plus, but you don't need it. The required experience that they care about is having three years of hierarchical conditioning category, coding, and billing. Some of the licenses that are required is a professional coder, certified risk coder, certified coding specialist, registered health information technician, coding certifications. And then some of the regular skill sets that they're looking for is just critical thinking skills, having attention to detail, written and oral presentation skills, written communication, communication skills, written communications and just overall communication skills, having that coding background and being proficient in Microsoft Word, Excel, Outlook and PowerPoint and being proficient in Microsoft 360. 360 in teams. Now with this role, they do have a travel requirement of up to 25%. This is gonna be performed at home. So it is a remote office based role. And they just have some information here listed more about some of the physical demands of the role, but because you'll be working from home, it's not gonna be a lot of lifting or anything like that. Now this role is paying $26.49 to $41.03 per hour based on the qualification your geographical location, and of course, your experience. So if you do have that coding background, this is gonna be a really great opportunity for you. Definitely check this out. Getting into the very next opportunity I have for you through Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. This one is hiring in over 51 states. So just about everywhere in the United States, um, you would definitely be able to work from home in this intake coordinator role. This one was recently posted. It is a full-time position. Make sure if you're interested, y'all know what to do. Get there quickly. Now, the thing with this role is the position does require you to work on Sundays as a part of your assigned shift. So for an example, you'll have a five-day work week, but one of those days is going to be Sunday and you'll have probably another day off during the week. So you may work Sunday through Thursday or Sunday through Wednesday and then work Friday. So it'll be an extra day off during a week, but you will have to work Sundays as one of your assigned days. Now, essential responsibilities for this role is being able to obtain requests from providers or pharmacies via phone, fax, or provider portals. You use multiple system softwares and various resource sites to determine member plans and requirements. You'll gather all required documentation, including verification of eligibility. You'll use knowledge of processes and judgment to evaluate and identify cases that require additional notification to members, providers, or pharmacists, and you'll ensure accuracy of data entry to prevent compliance or downstream process issues. Now, educationally, you just need a high school diploma, and then experience-wise, they're looking for one to three years of customer service experience, zero to one years of working in the healthcare industry, and then zero to one years is preferred of that healthcare industry. Ensure 
insurance, okay? Now, you don't need either one of these. Really, it can be absolutely no experience. What they really care about is that you know how to talk to people really well. So having at least a year of their customer service experience is going to definitely help really go far with this role. Some of the other skill sets that they're looking for is oral and written communication skills, telephone skills, problem solving and decision making, being able to comply with their compliance. If you do have healthcare industry understanding and health insurance industry understanding, that's all going to work in your favor. And then they have some other information here about the physical demands of the actual job itself. Now, this role is paying $19.27 of the $26.88. And that's really good being entry level. I have to give it to them. So definitely, if you're interested in this intake coordinator role that is completely remote all over the US, definitely get on over to Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield and start your application so you do not miss out on this role before it goes away. Now, if you are wondering what kind of different keywords you should be utilizing, especially for a role within healthcare, I do have a resume keyword guide. You can find the link to the resume keyword guide down in the description as well as the pinned comments. The resume keyword guide is going to give you over 300 different resume keywords and over 11 different industries to help you level up your resume very, very quickly. It's going to hand a lot of the keywords to you on a silver platter and you'll also get some additional bonuses and resources like a mini training on how to update your resume and action words to make sure that you're starting your resume sentences off really, really strong in addition to additional resources that you'll get. So definitely if you're done with trying to guess on what you should be putting on your resume or you're sitting at your computer forever trying to update update your resume, the resume keyword guide is going to help you out a lot. So make sure you definitely get your hands on your copy. Once again, you can find the resume keyword guide down in the description as well as the pinned comments. Now, if you have not become a part of the official family as of yet, I want to call you out a little bit right now and want to invite you to make sure you become an official family member here on YouTube by subscribing to the channel, turning that bell notification on and clicking all so you can be notified every time I release brand new videos. I do release multiple different quality job opportunity videos on a weekly basis. And personally, I would love, love, love to help you land your next really high paying remote job opportunity that fits within your lifestyle needs and your career goals. So definitely, if you have not become a part of the tribe as of yet, make sure you do so right this minute by subscribing to the channel, turning that bell notification on and clicking all so you can be notified each and every time I release brand new videos. Until next time, make sure you continue to thrive and you continue to reach for those good old career goals. And as always, I will see you guys in the very next one. Be blessed. Bye.